Hello you guys and welcome to my channel Julie Divine Tarot. I am here to do a reading for Divine Feminine. Um, I'm almost tapping the energies of how's going what's going on with Divine Feminine? How she's doing in love? What are the energies around her in her person? So my cards have already been blessed. They already been staged. <clears throat> I must say this is for entertain entertainment purposes only. Somebody can't talk. Or somebody is can't find the words to say. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Because my mouth got muddled here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please take the messages as they resonate. All signs are included. I already invited my angel spirit guys ancestors here. And they're here. They're ready to rock. Let's roll. Thank you. <laughs> we have the right action. This is a beautiful energy. This is the energy of like freeing yourself, you know, taking that leap of faith, you know, receiving with open arms the gift of spirit. Messages is coming. Spirit is telling you what to do and how to do it is what they're telling me. Okay, how do you pronounce this word? A paragratha <laughs> literal mean, literally means let everything that you want to go, go, and everything that come, come. Then I say receiving with open arms. This is what you're doing. So at the bottom of the deck, expansiveness with open arms arms divine feminine is this you in your person are you receiving your person back with open arms with these messages this is messages of peace this is like these look like doves yeah somebody that you was chained too tight to could be contracted to married to okay yeah but the right action will be taken here Okay, let's rock. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This is a good... Mm, thank you. Look, big, <laughs> big happy changes come flying out. This is what I'm talking about. You're receiving gifts, baby. This is what they're telling me. You're receiving gifts from Spirit here. And no, it's in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Yes. So no means yes. Okay, so either this is something that you're not... Huh, You're not ready to receive. Or it's something that you're hesitant with. You can't believe it's true. Something that you're rejecting here. Or that you need to reject. That you're not. For some. Okay. For others. You're welcoming this big change here. Okay. Okay. Because you was resistant to it, but not anymore. Okay? You're ready to, op to be open and receive whatever spirit has for you. And it's a good energy. You will receive it. Ooh, two popped out. Look, the world. And then we have storm warning. You avoided a tower moment here is what I'm feeling. Yeah. Because you was you was able to receive and able to take the step in the right direction because you have accepted change. Something that you didn't want to change, all of a sudden when you accepted that change, boo yeah. Cycles completed here. This storm was just a warning. Okay? So you pick this energy up and close this cycle out. With this person, you learned your lessons. Here with this person. And big happy changes is on the way because of that. You didn't want to, but you did. At the bottom of the deck, angel of love. I can't make this up. Okay? Angel of love. It's beautiful energy. You finally closed that cycle out with this person here. And it was the what right action to take. Your very first card out. Whatever it wants to go, let it go. Whatever it comes, let it go. 
This is what you're doing. This is beautiful, especially with the angel of love here. You're opening up your heart here. You was very resistant to that. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. How <laughs> are they talking? Mm. We're going to put them back and try again. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Let's get one, baby. And let's get one, my loves. Thank you for the messages. It's a beautiful message. Very simple and to the point. Thank you. Look. <laughs> Angel of balance is here. Okay? This is giving me Libra and energy. It's a two-card. Could be high priestess. Who knows? And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Angel of the Night Sky. So you could be receiving some type of information in your dreams, or you could be daydreaming about how <clears throat> and what to do. Here. You have the whole big old world that's in front of you. And you're moving into it methodically. You're not rushing. You already know that the, step, the steps and the actions that you're going to take they are the right ones for you to take. And it's going to bring you into this what? Big happy changes from spirit within yourself. You see how that light is coming out from her heart space? Baby, this is peace and love. You have the angel of love at the bottom of the deck here. Okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see what the mindfulness cards has to say. Holy spirit, holy angels. <laughs> uh, the first one I'll get. Thank you. Here we have notice connections. It's a yellow energy here. So these are noticing happy connections or notice, noticing the connections that you have that bring happiness to you. This is what you changed. You closed out cycles with people that brung storms, chaos, conflict into your life. You cut that out. You bended that shit. And because of that, you are very grateful that you've done that, that you cut these people off, that you stop going to these places, that you stop indulging in these, in these things, that you change the mindset, that you change the uh, 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 I idea about a person, a judgment, things of the sort. This is what you did. You freed yourself. Like I said, this is freeing energy here. Okay? Spirit told you with messages and guidance how to do this, and you did it. That's beautiful. And it's from this person. This person ain't nowhere in I don't feel none of his energy. Not the storm warming and warning in the world right here. Big happy changes, right? Action. You cut them completely out your life. Okay. And it says, cultivating insight is all about understanding the connection between things. But before you can understand connections, you have to see them. Whenever you see something interesting happen, happening in your experience, Practice looking for related connections. For example, if you're distracted by someone or something while you're working, try recalling what emotion you felt just before the distraction. Or when you feel a sense, a sensation in your body and notice what distinguished the sensations come from, all the sensations you don't know. Huh? When you feel a sense, sorry, let me read that over. When you feel a sensation in your body, notice what disguised the sensation from all the sensations you don't normally notice okay this practice of noticing will eliminate the connections between your mind body and experiences that's beautiful okay this is what you did this is why you let things that wanted to go go and things to come come you know okay you connected with spirit and you connected with the most high that's why I said spirit was telling you and sending you messages and guiding you. And this is what you was doing. You felt it in your bones that this person was or wasn't the one for you. Or this could be them about you. But it's it's making me feel this is you, Divine Feminine. Especially with this world card. Divine Feminine, baby, that cycle is over. You learned all you needed to learn from that. Okay? Alright. Let's get some energy. Let's get some more energy. Let's clarify. Okay. Let me scoop these down a little bit. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the right action. What right action 
Let me make sure they all. They all are, but I just like to run through them. You know, just in case. Okay. What right action did <laughs> Divine? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> they are talking, baby. Three of Swords is here. Okay. What's this? With the what? Three of Cups. Is this third party energy with this person? That's why you took the walk, the right action to free yourself and walk away? What's that at the bottom? Judgment. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. This person wants to reconcile with you. Or this could be you, them, after you, you walked away. But no. Okay, thank you for correcting me. They said no. This is them wanting to reconcile with you. They're heartbroken. Why? Because you freed yourself. But they broke you. It's a... <laughs> It's a tip for tech. They broke your heart first. So you, because of a third party. Okay, we got 3-3 three, three here. 33. That reduced down to a 6. Movement. You freed yourself. Okay? The number 6 is the number of movements here. Stability. Balance. Angel of balance. Okay? But yeah. And it hurt. It hurt like hell. Like I said, this was something that you didn't want to do. That's why that no is in the reverse. You did not want to have to do this because it hurt. You really love this person, especially with this big ass three of swords here with the three of cups. They made you happy. You guys were happy at one point. Okay. You guys used to go out, celebrate, have a good time. But it switched. It was a drastic three of cups to the three of swords here. And you had to cut this person off because of a third party that really, really devastated you. It hurt it. You didn't even want to see it. You was you almost believed a lie. But it was just so in your face, you could not help but see it. For some of you guys, okay? Could be dealing with an air sign or a water sign. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. But um and it's heavy here. This energy is heavy here. You could still be dealing with the effects of this here. Something else could catch your attention. What's up under this? The page of coins and the six of swords. Yeah, something else could catch your attention as to why you finally made that action to move away from this person or this situation. Mm hmm Let's get some more energy on the right action. Let's get one more. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay, RG. Yeah. I seen that. What was that? You flip one. You flip two. Boom. Okay. Oh, they said put them back. Okay. This one. Okay. Look, six of swords. Six of Swords is here. What I tell you, you took the right action to move away from this person for your own peace of mind here, okay? It's three people on this boat. So you could have had help getting away from this person or making this decision to move away from this person. With the nine, the Three of Swords and the Six of Swords, this is the Nine of Swords here. This hurt, okay? Look at them swords in that water. Water represents emotions, Swords represents the God honest truth. Them swords is not on that boat. It's in the waters of emotions here. It hurt for you to have to move away. And somebody had to help you. Could have been a father figure. A mother figure. A parent is what I'm feeling here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the four of coins. Yeah, holding back. You could have been trying to hold on to this person or to this, yeah, to this situation here. That's why it hurts so much for you to leave. Or this could be them. Yeah, we have four, four here. Four coins and four cups. Yeah, resistance. Resistance to change here is what I'm feeling. That's why them sources in the waters of emotion. That's why it hurt. Mm. This is also too making me feel that 
this person is regretting the fact that they had a third party here for some of you guys. They up at night cannot stop thinking about how you moved away from them and how you got free from them in this connection here. Now they're starting to see, and I told you it's regret here. They're starting to see what action, the actions that they have taken in the course of this relationship caused their own heartbreak here. Okay, you and them. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify big happy changes. What big happy changes is coming in for Divine Feminine? Okay, thank you. We have the Two of Wands. Making decisions. Making moves. Walking through a gate here. Something that you was blocked off from first. Yep, there go that Eight of Swords. There go that Eight of Swords. That's that freeing energy at the bottom of the deck was the Eight of Swords and the Two of Wands. This is you, like I said, you were stuck mentally on something or somebody is stuck mentally on you. They cannot break free. These swords are truths here. Ideas, thoughts, communication. Okay? That throat chakra is lit up. Somebody can't talk. Or you want to talk to somebody that you can't reach or something like that. But now you have the two of wands. You're moving forward. You're finally moving forward. And this is when the big happy changes come in at. You freed yourself from the agony of this situation. This person. Yeah. And it's a beautiful energy. I love it. Let's put this little guy over there. I need some more room. I love my things on my altar. But sometimes they be in the way. Depending on what spread I do. Okay. All right. And let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Swords. What did I tell you? This sword is down here. And here we go with the Nine of Swords again. So you have the Nine of Swords out here twice. This is what I see. So this is both of you guys. Like I said, y'all both could be heartbroken. Heartbroken at the fact that he lost you. For dealing with a third party situation. And you heartbroken because you had to leave and lose him. Because of a third party situation. This is for some. If this is your story, take what resonates. Do not make it fit, please. Thank you. Look, the high priestess. Secrets are here. Oh, okay, I heard you. Secrets have been revealed. You, you've you been told by spirit what to do. You've been told by spirit what it is about this person here. With the eight of swords and the high priestess, yeah. Yeah, this is a lot of mental communication, okay? Okay. Um, it's the energy of um, figuring out within yourself what it is. Using spirit, communicating with spirit here. Because it's something that you was trying to figure out. Or this could be them about you. Communicating with spirit. That book is open. Okay? They're not saying much, but they know. It's like soaking in. It's like a... Um, I'm getting telepathic communication. Okay. With spirit. Like I said, over here with the right action, you were guided. Spirit sent you messages with this high priestess to the big happy changes. This is what I said over here. Spirit was sending you what? Messages to guide you to what? Free yourself. And here it is with the high priestess energy. And the eight of swords. What? Mentally and spiritually freeing yourself. Okay? It's a beautiful energy. This is something that you're moving towards because we have... The um, the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles energy right here is the energy of being satisfied. Again, big happy changes. Being satisfied here. Not needing anything outside of yourself to feel satisfied, abundant, secure. Okay? You can take care of yourself. And you have enough to do it. Okay? So you don't need this other person in order to take care of you. Why? Because you take care of you. Why? Because you're the high priestess. You're in your high priestess energy here. Okay? You could be making money moves and not telling nobody as well. It's all is what I'm also hearing too. For some of you guys. Okay? Yeah. Very passionate about these new beginnings that is coming into you. At the bottom of the deck, we have the five of wands here. Conflicted. 
competition is here with the moon. Yeah, they they don't like it. This is also too for some of you guys. You putting on the front that you're moving on, but you still stuck in mentally on this person here. You're not letting them know with the five of wands and the moon energy at the bottom. Who you fooling? Is what I'm feeling here. It's making me feel like this is the other person. This is the reason why. This is the reason why. You have to you have to move away from this person here. Mm -hmm. You freed yourself. Yeah. 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 Because there was so there was more going on that you knew that you didn't know. But the, with this intuition and this high priestess, you knew. You knew that there was something that wasn't right. Or that you were in some type of competition with the third party. This is the conflict card, the competition card. A lot of people had their hands in this. A lot of people had a lot to say about this. You didn't have no idea. A lot of people could have known about this third party and you had no idea about it. It's like you was the last one in the room to know about the elephant. Okay? This is why you're still stuck in this eight of source energy. Okay, because you want to speak up about something, but you're not because you're trying to gain more information or be the more spiritual enlightened or more spiritual, mature one is what I'm getting for some of you guys. Okay, you want to know everything about this situation before you, I heard go ham. <laughs> okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, let's clarify the storm warning. Well, can you tell us about the storm, storm warning, please? Oh. No, we're not taking that. Okay, let's do this again. Storm warning. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Thank you, my love. Yeah, it's like, I'm hearing, I know something you don't know. This could be you. You could be coming into some type of money. You're not letting nobody know. Hey, man, you stopped. Something stopped here. Yeah, what's this? The world. Oh, yeah. Yep, this cycle is complete. Okay. Yeah, it stopped. Yeah, it stopped. And the wheel of fortune at the bottom right here. Yes, you have the world out here twice. Like I said, you avoided, you avoided this tower moment here. The, I'm getting tower energy here. Could be dealing with a fixed sign. Scorpio, <clears throat> Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius. I mean, uh, the world. No, the wheel. Sorry. See the wheel. I mean, the world. Why did I see that? The wheel and the world. Okay. Okay. But with the uh, world energy, sorry. Yeah. Or you could be dealing with the um, Aquarius. I mean, uh, um, Aries here. Pisces too. Pisces is strong here. Because you took a temporary pause for the cause and took a step back and looked at things from a different perspective, looked at things from a different angle, a different mindset, this is when you put an end to it. This is when you learned that lesson that you need to learn in order to what? Move forward. That's the big happy change, baby. Is this big old wheel of fortune. You took the right actions, and now it's here. This is spirit gifting you this. Here, baby. It's beautiful. Like I said, you avoided some type of disaster here. You did. And that's beautiful. Okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have... The five of coins. It cost you. And the ten of cups. Yeah, it cost. For you to move forward, you feel that you you had to give up on this relationship here. You felt the loss of this relationship as things move forward. As you move forward from this relationship here. But you had the ten of cups right after this. 
Like I said, baby, the big happy changes came from when you moved away from this person and said no more. And it hurt. But baby, spirit is saying, uh-uh. You have so much that is coming in for you. With the with the wheel being right here in the nine of coins, this is money, baby. This is financial stability. This could be some type of <laughs> lottery win. Uh, 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 I heard tax return <laughs> for some of you guys. Um, unexpected money is what I'm hearing. Unexpected. You didn't see it coming. Okay. With this eight of swords. You was worried about something, but you didn't see it coming. So it, you didn't see, you didn't think that it was going to work out or you didn't see how this was going to work out in your favor. But it is, you know, especially financially here. But you feel in the loss of this, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's um, clarify the world. You have the world out here twice. You could be traveling the world, okay? With all this, <coughs> excuse me, with all this money coming in, you could. Ooh. And what? I ain't gonna take them. I'm gonna put them back. I was gonna take them, but they said no. Now, sometimes I read from the floor shit. I, I do. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> That's right. What's the world? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I like the hangman and the high priestess here. That's really looking for spirit. Guidance from spirit, excuse me. Yeah, you have the page of wands. Very exciting opportunities coming in. Okay, you could be get, getting a message of this. Brand new opportunity offer coming in with this wheel and the page of wands. It's something that you want or something that you are going to go for here. It's new. It's a young energy. This too could be also you meeting somebody else. Okay. While traveling. <laughs> that's for some okay but uh, watch that one because it's storm warning right after that so you know he could rock your world and then leave you hanging you know with that young wand he got it in his hand too that's for some so watch if you're older <laughs> divine feminine messing with these uh and he's a page too so he ain't but 20 oh my god watch it he'll take you on a ride you don't want to go on okay and then we have the Ten of Cups come popping out. You only might like it. <laughs> What's this? And the Ten of Cups again. I mean, um, Eight of Cups. I mean, Seven of Cups. I'm sorry. I didn't even look at the damn card. This is not the deck that had the two of them. I just seen Ten of Cups. I'm sorry. I seen Ten Cups. But I just said Ten Cups. Uh, girl, go figure. Yeah. So, I heard Ten of Cups again. So, by you making this, with these choices, it was a, it's a rainbow of peace in the castle. So, by you making the right choice, what? Taking the right action towards who? The right choice. The right choice. You're going to have the Ten of Cups again. You're going to be emotionally happy and emotionally fulfilled again. That's why I said Ten of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. And it's happily ever after is what I'm hearing. Yes, it's happily ever after. The world. They will give you the world. The, the, the star at the bottom of the deck, baby. I can't make this up. They will give you the world. Your wishes are coming true with the moon. Ooh, very intuitive. You know this. You ended this with this other person and started this with the new person. This is a new energy that you move forward towards while you were still hurting from another past energy that broke your heart because of a third party situation. You still think about them from time to time. You had to move on from always thinking about them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because you didn't know. There was some type of confusion as to what, why... I heard you wasn't chosen for some. Yeah. Yeah. 
for some. Yeah, why you wasn't chosen with the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Cups. This is what's coming into you, but with the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups, which is the Ten of Cups again. This is why I saw the Ten of Cups twice, okay? Why you wasn't chosen to be with this person that had the third party. But as you were healing from this person that had the third party, boop, bop, bam. Baby, a new energy came in to bring you balance. He came as a page. So this is very, very new or very young. Or this could be um, the birth of a new idea is what I'm hearing. Let's see. What can you tell me about the Seven of Cups? What else can you tell me about the Seven of Cups spirit? Thank you. And the Page of Swords. Somebody is watching. Gathering information. This is something. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Because you moved on from this person, they're coming in as a page here. You, you, yeah, you, 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 you not even entertaining this person. This can be children, but this is not what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on somebody, either you or them, trying to get some information about something that you are, you, you, you're confused about. You're trying to make the right choice here. Okay. You're trying to make the right choice here. There's options and choices here and you're trying to make the right choice here. Okay. Yeah, that you want to take action towards. Yeah, okay. This is you trying to make the right choice here. I'm here and trying to convince yourself you made the right choice. <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands energy. Flighty. Unstable. I'm hearing cocky. I'm here, cocky. For some, for others, this person is watching you. They are watching you, and they want to have this ten of cups with you. They choose you, okay? And they want to come in and talk to you, okay? They have to travel towards you, either physically or energetically. Uh huh. But you're you're not moving. You're not budging. Uh huh. You keeping this cycle closed. Uh huh. And they 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 try to figure out how to get towards you or get to you. Uh huh. Yeah, but you're not having it. You're already happy somewhere else is what I'm hearing. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the Angel of Justice. I mean, Angel of Balance. Ooh. Angel of Balance. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's clarify the Angel of Balance, and then we're going to wrap this up. But with this, notice the connections energy right here as your message is beautiful. And this is what you did. You noticed the connections. You noticed the you you paid attention to the energy that you that you have between uh, this person and the new person. Look at this <laughs> magician come flying out. Angel of balance. The magician was this poking out, and the empress. You have the magician and the empress with the angel of balance, divine feminine. This is you. This is you creating your euphoria in life. Is what I'm hearing. Yes. You balanced out your energies here. And now you became the empress. Abundant. Okay, creative. Nurturing, giving, loving. You have everything you need to be the empress here. Okay, that's what you did when you freed yourself from this connection or, or this person here. What's at the bottom of the deck? The chariot. Again, balance. Look how she's looking at it. Okay? I don't know if you can see. Too good. But look how she's looking at that chariot. This is balance, and this is moving forward balanced here. Okay? And you're moving. You have your, your, um, your hands on the, the reins of this. You're driving this. You're guiding this. Okay? This is not out of control. This is balance and power. Moving forward. Oh my goodness. Because what? You have the three accordings in the reverse and the emperor. You are not coming together with this person here. And he showed up. They're gonna they want to move forward towards you. 
They're coming in towards you. Oh, yes, they are. You the Empress. They're trying to manifest you back. They want to balance this out. They want another go around with you. But you done already moved on. Yeah, the three of coins is in the reverse. You are not going to get together with this person. You're not going to come together and create or come together for any reason with this person here. Okay? Because you're taking back control of yourself. You have another emperor here. He showed up as pages. You have an emperor here. Or this could be you not getting back with your divine feminine. So, I mean, divine masculine. So either you're dealing, leaving a karmic to go towards your divine masculine or you're leaving your divine masculine to go towards the karmic. Or a high-level soulmate, not a karmic. Well, they're a high-level soulmate because this is this is a, a, a divine energy here. So this this is not a karma, excuse me. This is a high level level soulmate. If it's not your divine masculine, it's a high level soulmate, okay? But the uh emperor and empress is out here bringing balance moving forward. Okay? Yeah. Not wanting to create this with this person here is what I'm feeling. Yeah, you are ready to move on here. Let's see. Let's get one on this emperor. Let's clarify this emperor energy. What can you tell us about the emperor energy? Thank you, spirit. Strength could be a Leo. Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with a Cancer. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay. Strength card, courage, bravery. Wrong. This person is um I'm hearing I'm hearing well tamed here with the emperor. This is a very dominant energy here. This is a very dominant energy here. Okay. Almost like a bullying energy, invading energy hermit here. He's not saying nothing. He went as oh, okay, I heard you. This emperor done found out who he is. That's why the strength come, came out. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. There's sadness and regret here because they lost out on opportunity with the lover here. Uh-huh. Because of the, some seven of swords stuff. But now he see his truth. Now he see his work. Now he see who he is. He see himself as the emperor. Let's clarify this empress. It's making me feel this empress is out of here, though. Because she done already manifest her what? Ten of cups. Okay, this one. I've seen it. Seven of Wands, defensive. What did I tell you? She's defensive against this emperor trying to come back in. Because he done finally grew up. Okay? What's at the bottom of the deck? The Queen of Coins and the Sun. Yes! Y'all better you. She got too much going on with judgment and the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. This emperor, empress that went on. Okay? We have clarifying the empress. We have the Seven of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. The Sun could be dealing with a Leo. There go that Leo energy again. Oh, it was Judgment. Okay, Virgo energy. The Queen of Cups. And right after the Queen of Cups, it's the King of Cups. Okay? Like I said, this is some bullying energy here. This Empress not already moved on. She not already got a high-level soulmate here. I told you. Okay? Very happy. Grounded. Now, it's two queens here. But you're dealing with the Empress. The Empress is embodying these two queens. Normally, I would be like, uh-uh. With all these kings and queens, there's a lot of people here. Okay? A lot of immature energy here, too. This Emperor, I feel as though, was immature at one point in time. And now, he's uh he done grew up. But the chariot done already came and went. It done already left the, left the scene. With this magician energy, this is the divine feminine. Created her own new. Okay? And got the hell on. And here he come back around because why she is so defensive. Why? Because she got the king of, the cup, the king of cups, the queen of cups, the ten of cups, uh, the, the sun, and the queen of pentacles here. Right along with the judgment. She done already called judgment on this. That's why the world is out here twice. There is no never, ever, ever, ever getting back with this empress. 
this group of divine feminines I'm picking up on in a love situation, there is no never, ever, ever, ever getting back with this emperor. Why? Because you already have somebody else in your energy that is your match emotionally. Y'all both love each other and y'all are happy. My bells and whistles don't lie. You are happy and you know it. So what? Clap your hands. <laughs> Beautiful, 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 divine feminine. Wow. And like I said, that throat chakra, yeah, somebody need to speak, okay? Because that throat chakra, honey, it, it's tight. <laughs> it is tight, but you know, to each his own, all right? Okay, that's all I have for you. So till next time, take care and namaste. Oh, and if you have um, time, click that like button or that subscribe button so you'll know when I upload more videos that I have coming in the near future, okay? All right, take care. Bye.